Bend the knee. Valor Magolas, everybody. This is Don Raven back again with another video. And this is going to be a quick one on why Peter Baelish must die in Season 7. So after we get the return of Brandon Stark to Winterfell, Bran makes a revelation to Sansa, and that is that he can see everything that has ever happened and everything that is happening right now. And the three-eyed raven. I don't know what that means. It's difficult to explain. Try, please, for me. It means I can see everything. Everything that's ever happened to everyone. Everything that's happening right now. It's all pieces now. Fragments. I need to learn to see better. When the long night comes again, I need to be ready. Now, it's been speculated for a while now that Peter Baelish would die in Season 7, and there have been some leaks that have suggested this as well, but they haven't been confirmed as of yet, especially with the particular context. Now, for me, the only way I saw Peter Baelish dying before Episode 3 was somehow the Hound meeting up with Arya or Sansa and telling them what happened in the throne room and asking why is Peter Baelish at Winterfell, seeing how he betrayed Ned Stark. But, with Bran coming back and saying that he can see everything, him standing by the tree and saying that he's putting everything together, I do believe that he will be the one to inform either Arya or Sansa about Littlefinger's betrayal, and that is what will get him killed. But, not before he tries to kill... Bran himself. In the first season 7 trailer, we get this shot of Arya looking under a bed somewhere, probably in Winterfell, and later on we start to see pictures of her in Entertainment Weekly with the cat's paw dagger. And many people have speculated as to why she has that cat's paw dagger, leading people to believe that she will be the one to actually kill Littlefinger. Now, let me explain how this will probably happen. Unable to fully process what Bran has just told Sansa, she will look for someone to help her to be able to explain Bran's new powers. And seeing as how she doesn't really trust or respect anyone else, she's going to wind up running to the only person that she thinks will be able to explain any of this stuff to her, and that is Littlefinger. And once Littlefinger starts to put together the pieces that Bran could possibly tell what happened in that throne room, he is going to go and grab the dagger and try to kill Bran without anyone noticing. Only problem is, he's going to have some sort of obstacle in his way that forces him to get rid of the dagger. And then Arya sees it, decides to look under the bed, finds the dagger, somehow Peter still gets found out, and he is executed by the Starks. Now, I know this isn't the greatest presentation. This is just something that kind of came to mind, and I felt that I should do a video on it. Uh, listen, you know, Peter Baelish is actually one of my favorite characters, not for the things that he's done, but kind of for the way that he has operated throughout this entire series. and. Look, if you want to talk about people who are ambitious and, you know, have their eye on the prize, he's probably number one in the series. Hate to see him go, but the man needs to die. He's done too many foul things to live, and, hey, you know what? I think his usefulness is done. So, you guys let me know what you think about this one. Do you think I could be right, or am I totally off base? If it wasn't for Bran coming back in this particular episode, and especially saying that he can see everything, and that he's trying to put all of it together, uh, I might have thought that Peter Baelish would have lived until season 8. But, I have to relent. So, looks like the banner might be coming down sooner than I hoped, and I know Roris will be super happy to uh, 
troll me and to, you know, shame me and all that other good stuff. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think about this. I will be back with another one very soon. You already know the deal. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, tell your friends and come back for more. This has been my time. This is Don Raven saying valid the highest. But first, real quick, a little more advice from King Bay. Don't fight in the north or the south. Fight every battle, everywhere, always, in your mind. Everyone is your enemy. Everyone is your friend. Every possible series of events is happening all at once. Live that way and nothing will surprise you. Everything that happens will be something that you've seen before. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!